In this metropolis, you will find a fusion of eastern opulence, western refinement and a great national charm. The cityscape is rebellished with stunning examples of contemporary architecture. Hello everyone, you're watching Travel in Comfort with Mahdi Fazl. And today, we are exploring the lavish capital of Kazakhstan. Behind me is the only business center in the country that built according to world standards. The multifunctional complex consists of two towers, 27 and 30 floors high. And the author of the project was the architect who has designed such world-famous skyscrapers as Burj Khalifa in Dubai and Trump Tower in New York. The business center is situated at the epicenter of the capital's business and administrative hub. It stands as the inaugural building in Astana constructed in compliance with green standards. Covering an approximate total area of 120,000 square meters, its deliberate proximity to the capital's primary landmark is intentional. In line with the architect's vision and creativity, the center not only presents its visitors with a splendid view of the Baiti Rec, but also harmonizes with it as a cohesive composition. The first tower of this elite business center has office space, a retail area with restaurants and cafes, and a two-level underground parking. And in a second, the most fashionable hotel here in the capital is located where we'll go today to our luxurious journey. The luxurious premium hotel in Astana is part of an American chain. For nearly a century, hotels under this brand have captivated patrons with their sophistication, allure and naturally exceptional service. Their ethos and long-standing traditions in hospitality have established benchmarks for hotels globally. This chic hotel in the capital has garnered multiple accolades for its design, with its lobby ranking among the finest globally for interior aesthetics. I'm now in the hotel lobby. Just look at this design. The wall panels represent an obstruction of petrified beach forests on Lake Hainde, a very unusual way to capture tourist attraction in the interior. Great. The symbolism doesn't stop there. The flooring of the check-in desk showcases intricate metal floral designs, with rays extending from the bottom of the staircase and the sculpture depicting the petrified tree trunk. These rays on the floor represent the sun and warmth associating Shanrak. As you might know, Shanrak is actually the symbol of Father's house and in a broader sense the world as the universe. This is how this hotel reminds every guest that they are calm and comfortable, just like at home. The seamless blend of American hotel traditions with Kazakh hospitality here is truly remarkable. Do you hear this enchanting sounds of jet again? The playing of this ancient Kazakh musical instrument greets all guests to the hotel lobby and of course, together with the music, all visitors can absorb Kazakh culture and discover Kazakh hospitality. The main feature of the hotel is showcasing hospitality right from the entrance. Considerate, perceptive and respectful treatment is extended not only to the guests but also to the staff. Within this establishment, employees are addressed as nothing short of ladies and gentlemen. This is quite expected as these experts, through their professionalism and warmth, uphold the hotel's luxurious reputation, ensuring top-tier service and support. Do you have any certain programs that you walk with your uh, ladies and gentlemen, so-called, uh, here? We have very extensive onboarding program, which includes the uh, courses like, for example, orientation. We want them to experience the same, uh, the same experience as our guests do. So yes, we have an extensive training program, we have mandatory programs, we have compliance programs, and of course, the on-the-job training programs are very important. So yes, and learning is an on ongoing journey. Yes, and we have the special, our high potential ladies and gentlemen uh, who are acting as learning coaches. So actually they're the trainers uh, of the department 
and every and each newly joined lady and gentleman just shadow them uh, within their first three months of employment. Our aim is to find the person, is to feel something in that person that will tell us that with learning and guidance, the person will succeed and that will provide the best service to our guests. The Capital Hotel serves as a meeting point for business professionals seamlessly integrating substantial business activities with leisure. It provides multiple conference rooms suitable for corporate events, forums, training sessions and meetings. The largest room among them covers an expansive area of 1,000 square meters. The hotel features an expansive area housing a spa center. Here, visitors can luxuriate in premium treatments designed to improve both physical and mental wellness. Experts in their field will craft an unmatched ambience of tranquility and peace, complemented by state-of-the-art facilities and top-notch products to heighten the feeling of comfort. Every vacationer can choose a program as they prefer, from light to intense, and those relax, improve their body and soul, just like I did. What's included in a spa service? As a spa, we offer our gym 300 square meters for our guests, for different types of guests. We offer our swimming pool, a big swimming pool with a jacuzzi as well, with a different water temperature. And also we have saunas separate for ladies and gentlemen. We have steam sauna, dry sauna and tropical shower, as well as a changing area and relaxation zone for all our guests. We offer relaxation treatment for some of the guests who really need to relax and to have a good rest after the busy day. We offer some deep tissue, or like we call it deep, deep um, muscle treatments, how you call it, massages, as well as we have some anti-stress treatments. So different, different types. We have um, a huge variety of treatments to offer this individual touch for all our guests. And of course, what is luxury without relaxation? As I was told, for spa treatments, this hotel uses only natural products made exclusively from environmentally friendly components. This incredible destination emphasizes the importance of nurturing both your body and soul. Following an enjoyable time at this relaxation and leisure center, we've chosen to proceed with our review of the premium hotel. The hotel features 157 rooms, which include 32 suites offering panoramic city views. There's a diverse range of accommodation choices available, from spacious, stylish suites to luxurious apartments to club rooms. Each is tastefully furnished and fully equipped for your comfort. Exceptional city vistas and attentive service, coupled with a personalized approach, will create a lasting impression during your stay. And tell us about your guests. Who are they? Like, who choose this hotel usually? You know, I was always thinking about this, and I think uh, globally, and we can talk about money, preferences, business travelers, but I think the people who stay in our hotels and the people who are sharing the same values which we share, the people who are looking at the every moment of their life as, a, as an experience. So because we are providing uh, our mission and uh, we we have you uh, you know we have a credo and our credo says we pledge to provide unique memorable experiences to our guests and these are our guests who really value their unique and memorable memorable experiences the hotel provides its guests with a special vip program offering privileges that enhance their stay to a more luxurious level membership grants access to exclusive services and facilities such as specialized lounges, complimentary room upgrades and priority reservations. Alfia, tell me please, where are we now? Could you introduce this room? 
certainly. This is actually our suit, uh, which also we could be goes as a royal suit as well. Uh, overall here is 144 till the 150 square meters. Uh, we have um, well, like three overall rooms, which is a master room. We have a living room where we're standing right now. We have also the dinner table. And over there we have a, actually the, uh, the working office, cabinet. Right? Yes, yeah. office. Mm -hmm. So overall, this is actually quite popular room for, uh, for the family occasions. We have kind of like family packages as well. So where the kind of big uh, companies can stay here. You can also add the extra beds here as well. This is actually really uh, pl great place for getaway. As you know, like Astana is the capital city, so sometimes you want to make a getaway. So this is a great place to actually feel yourself out of the space because you kind of, when you come here, you just like indifferent, you know, like um, how it's like dimension, I can yeah, say. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and now we'll show you the pinnacle of luxury of this hotel, the presidential suit. The splendid 270 square meter area is fitted with cutting edge technology ranging from coffee machines to integrated sound systems. The elegant interior design of the apartments encapsulates the highest standards of hotel decor, designer furniture, expensive windows, clean graphical lines complemented by distinctive decorative elements fostering an ambience of exclusivity and privilege. So if you want to feel like a superstar in Astana, this presidential luxury suit is what you need. Perfect. And now let's go around our apartments. There is an end suit bedroom, a large dining room, a full kitchen, an office and a private guest bathroom. And yes, the guests of this room have access to a personal butler. Isn't it luxury? A generously sized walk-in wardrobe, toiletries from exclusive brands, high quality beddings and fresh flowers delivered to the room every day. This merely scratches the surface of what a guest can experience in the deluxe room of this Astana treasure. Additionally, sweet guests enjoy exclusive access to the privileges offered at the club lounge. And this is the exact club lounge. The entrance here is strictly for our own people and we also have this unique opportunity to look into this island for VIPs. For guests involved in business meetings or crucial discussions, light snacks and coffee are provided here. Alongside all the mentioned advantages and features, the hotel's undeniable strength lies in its location and the breathtaking view from the windows. Indeed, the capital exudes a distinct vibe in the evenings. Amazing. What a beautiful view to the symbol of the city, the monument of Baiterek. The hotel features three restaurants showcasing all facets of culinary expertise from top chefs. The foundational concept of the initial dining space is rooted in a profound philosophy, the symbolism of life's rivers. The hotel's reputation is built on a gracious tradition of crafting exquisite confections that elevates the experience, adding a non-matched allure and opulence to guest stays. Gifted pastry chefs meticulously craft sweet masterpieces, each boasting unique designs and distinctive flavor profiles. We make every day 10 to 15 kilos of crystallizing chocolate. We make our own chocolate tablets. Okay, we, we make our own chocolate truffle with praline, it's called praline. We make mendiant, you know mendiant is pure chocolate with um, dry fruit, you know, it's, it's French. We make some cookies on the bottom here, we make figurines of chocolate. Here you have the tree and then you have a Kazakh uh, a hat, all in made in chocolate and gold. And then we have the pure chocolate praline, chocolate lollipop. We're making nougat, white nougat. Uh, we're making also the um, purple macaron. Purple because it's black currant, because it's Willy Wonka. 
If you love tea, just like all Kazakhs here, you'll find 35 varieties of this wonderful drink. If you are ever here, you should definitely try and drink it. Besides the conceptual lounge bar, hotel guests can explore an exceptional restaurant featuring an open kitchen concept. The ambience is inviting and cozy, making it unnecessary for guests to dress formally while dining at the restaurant. Music, details, waiters' uniforms, jeans and sneakers, everything is chosen so the guests can feel relaxed and comfortable. The restaurant's ambience exudes comfort through a fusion of light and dark beige hues, embodying simplicity alongside the top-notch service offered in a high-end hotel. Additionally, it serves buffet-style breakfasts and caters to a diverse range of preferences. Vegetarians, vegans, carnivores, dessert aficionados and health-conscious patrons. While most dishes reflect Italian influences, the restaurant integrates locally sourced ingredients as well. Basically, you know, we are in Kazakhstan, we are in Astana, we are using a lot of local product, okay, like a burrata, like mozzarella, like parmesan cheese, which is producing here in Astana. Of course, with a touch of Italian, okay, with a local product, there would be always a twist of, you know, uh, local product with Italian ways, a nice twist, and of course, you know, we are pleasure, you know, to make something, you know, uh, memorable for our guests, you know. As I understand, despite the fact that the restaurant is located in a luxury hotel, the cuisine is practically homemade here and familiar to everyone. Certainly, the restaurant's chef opted to unveil the secrets behind crafting the beloved Japanese rolls for everyone. Incidentally, the recipe didn't appear complex to us. Tell me please, what are we going to do now? So, basically, we are we're going to make a very popular sushi. It's a oram, yeah. Is uh, oramake sake with the ingredient is a daikon, spring onion, uh, salmon, and the cucumber. It's easy. It's very. Easy. It's really okay. easy, and then you can make it in the home also if amazing, you want. Amazing. Similar to traditional rolls, maki uramake consists of the same ingredients but employs a different rolling technique, referred to as inside out or rice on the outside. Finished by drizzling spicy unagi sauce and flambéing the dish. It's all set to savor now. And now I'm yearning for some soul food. And for this, we've selected the city's art gallery. Just imagine the original artwork of such world-famous artists like Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali are presented there. Notably, the art space is conveniently located within the same business center as our hotel, eliminating the need to search far for beauty. This gallery is among the earliest establishments in Central Asia hosting classical Western European visual art masterpieces. This art space will emerge as a genuine sanctuary for art enthusiasts worldwide. Please tell us about your gallery. Who are your guests? Our audience primarily comprises individuals from the business realm. Currently, we have inaugurated an exhibition supported by the Turkish Embassy featuring Ismail Ajar, one of Turkey's most renowned artists. Recently, we've hosted the artist Nordbird from Austria, with whom we are presently collaborating on an exhibition at the National Museum. We showcased the works of Gabriele Galimberti, an Italian artist recognized for his collaborations with National Geographic magazine, exhibiting contemporary and project photography. The gallery exhibits diverse painting styles, yet its main focus is on modernism. It features rare original works by classical artists spanning from the 15th to the 20th centuries. Alongside pieces by renowned modernists including Marc Chagall, Salvador Dali, Albrecht Dürer, Henri Matisse, Joan Miro, Pierre Auguste Renoir, and Pablo Picasso. Well, personally, I dream of purchasing the work of our domestic artist, Le Bois de Lepay, a phenomenal master who has become a kind of ambassador from art, revealing the culture, history, and soul of Kazakh people to the world. 
This artist stands among the most renowned and favored painters in Kazakhstan, a status well-deserved given his creativity journey that commenced 50 years ago. Yerbola Tolibai's artworks resonate and are comprehended by international audiences due to his mastery of a universal language, the language of art. Yerbola Tolibai is unquestionably among the most prominent artists, a pioneer, I would assert, in Kazakhstan painting, a representation of the language of Kazakhstani art, embodying our cultural essence, distinctive color scheme and narratives. As we embarked in a new phase of artistic evolution, departing from ideological and Soviet themes to define our unique style, Yerbola Tolibai stood as one of the trailblazers blazers and creators of this artistic direction. Through his perspective, Kazakhstan was revealed to the world, shedding light on events that shaped the nation's ideals. Yerbolad Tolibai's artworks offer glimpses into various historical stages and the spiritual evolution of the Kazakh people. Yerbolad Tolibai's imagery can be likened to visions. They specifically resonate with the ethereal world, the spiritual domain. In this state, the artist himself emphasizes the importance for viewers while observing his paintings to immerse themselves in a state of particular meditation, to discover inner harmony. The detachment from the external world, connections to traditional memory and the aesthetic enjoyment inspired us to explore another distinctive place in the capital. Here, they are reviving the traditional nomadic art of archery. This martial art holds ancient significance and was highly esteemed by our forebears. Contemporary archers are revitalizing this skill. Indeed, few handle this weapon as proficiently as the Kazakhs. According to the rules of international competitions, each archer must be dressed in his national clothes or historical combat equipment, and the bow and the arrows must be made out of natural products and natural materials. All conventional bows at their core share identical traits. The evolution of these bows has seen certain enhancements and modifications in their structure over time. Crafting this age-old weapon usually incorporates horn, sinew, wood and animal glue. Silk remains the primary material for the string, yet modern competitions allow for the use of synthetic alternatives. Whoa! Got it in sport from the first time. Apparently, that's the genetic memory of our ancestors. Kazakhs call this instinct, call me again, and say that it's in our blood. How do I feel now, huh? Triumph or victory, isn't it? As per archery instructors, these emotions precisely drive novices to advance and enhance their abilities. Gradually, a hobby transforms into a passion enriched with greater significance. Archery doesn't require specialized physical training. As affirmed by the coach, possessing exceptional eyesight isn't a prerequisite. The essential elements are determination and consistent practice. Traditional archery possesses several unique characteristics. For example, archers ranging from 7 to 70 years old and beyond can compete together, and young boys and girls can engage in their own competitions. Flawless vision isn't a prerequisite for aiming accurately and hitting the target. Archery serves an excellent exercise for the muscles of the eyes. An illustrative instance of training for accuracy is seen in the archer Kasim Khan Kanat, who clinched the second place in the Nomad Games. Initially, he joined the practice sessions to support his brother and inadvertently became engaged himself. 
I arrived in Astana for work in 2021, and when I pondered how to spend my leisure time, my brother, Abelai Khan Kanat, the World Archery Championship winner, brought me along to a practice session. I took a few shots and hit the target. I became captivated by it. Initially, it appeared as a hobby, but now it's more of a way of life. We are here from early morning until late evening, training young archers and refining our own archery skills. I firmly believe that archery runs in the veins of all Kazakhs. How long have you been doing archery and why did you choose this kind of sport? Uh, yeah, traditional archery is my hobby. At first it was such a hobby, but uh, now I realize that it became like my um, lifestyle and became my official sport. Yeah, and I uh, feel like I'm a sportsman, sportwoman. It gives me some kind of strength, um, the feeling of uh, power. Yeah, when I uh, take my um, oh. arrows, yeah, oh. I feel like I'm a stronger person. In order to learn how to shoot and hit the target, having a compact, lightweight and comfortable bow is essential, alongside the skills acquired during training sessions. We all recall the step triad. Nomad, horse and bow. Presently, the descendants of the adept Kazakh horseback archers carry on the expertise passed down from their ancestors deeply embedded in their DNA. Both residents of Astana and visitors to the capital have the opportunity to explore the might and influence of ancient martial arts. Foreign tourists will be given guidance and introduced to traditional national costumes while enjoying commerce. It's astonishing that within this ultra-modern capital, there exist locations where one can sense the cultural essence of the Kazakh people and immerse in their national identity. The art pieces displayed in galleries and archery represent only a fraction of what we have to offer. Experience luxury and relaxation in the heart of Kazakhstan, where sophistication, art and gastronomic delights await you. Astana is poised to captivate you. See you soon until our next incredible adventures across my cherished homeland.